in the name of Allah, the most kind, the most merciful. Hello and Islamic greeting, peace be with you all. In order to prevent sincere and good people of the world from studying Al-Quran and accepting Islam, the evil and satanic forces are inventing so many lies. They are hoaxing against Islam and the final messenger of the Creator. One of the worst hoax is when they accuse the Prophet was a pedophile. This is the video which will show you Mother Aisha was not any child when she was married with the Prophet. She was more than 14 years old and also will show you those people who are uttering lies, hoaxing against the one who is having the highest morale ever lived in mankind. Do you remember the people who used to hoax against the Prophet Muhammad? Like the TV evangelist Jimmy Swagat, Pastor Robert Oliver, many who have been caught in rape and with prostitute, and many others the Islam haters who have been caught in incest. Where does these sickness and evil inspirations coming from to them? You will watch them through this slideshow while listening my refutation against the critics who question about the character of the Prophet Muhammad. Many were having misconceptions that the Prophet Muhammad had a child bride, which is not truth. Child brides are seen in having in Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, etc. in a religion sense of approvals, but not allowed in Islam. Stick with me and wipe off your psychological barriers and you will be able to see the truth. The Kafirs gave him two options. The first one was the earthly desires and the second one is the death. The first one was he was offered money and wealth. He was offered power, the kingship. He was offered young beautiful girls. The Arab idol worshippers, the pagans, have tried in every possible way to stop him from educating peoples in Islam, which is occurring to be their biggest threat, which is stopping their earthly evil business. They were afraid of the message of Islam. But the Prophet replied to them, Even if you bring me the sun on my right hand and the moon on my left hand, I will not stop spreading this message of Islam. When the idol worshippers of the Arabs offered him power, money, wealth, beautiful omen, he rejected their offers and stick to carry the message to the mankind. Imagine if he was lustful or pedophile, he would have accepted their offerings and could have fulfill his desires. Do you think an imposter could reject that offer and say, even if you bring me the sun on my right hand and the moon on my left hand, I would not stop spreading the message of Islam and endangering his life. But the Prophet Muhammad accept their second option, sacrificing his life for establishing Islam, the way of total submission to our Creator. Answer to the critics' hawks regarding the subject, Mother Aisha's age at her marriage to Prophet Muhammad. Peace be on them both.
as a husband to his wife. Let me start with the most romantic dialogue delivered from him to her. To his wife, he said, O oh Aisha, love the poor and let them come to you and Allah will draw you near to himself. During the time of the Prophet Muhammad, in Arabia, they have a very traditional custom to get married in earlier. Usually, men used to get married before they step into their manhood with baby girls. Men in 15-16 years old used to start their married life with 7-8 years old girls. This custom was not just practicing by Arabs, but also by most of the parts of the world. According to, according to Judaism, Jews can marry even infants. Prophet Muhammad, in his life, the first time got married when he was 25 years old, and his wife was 40. His first wife was 15 years older than him. Prophet Muhammad was from a very rich and famous family. It was very easy for him to get a 7-8 years old girl or 12-14 years very beautiful girl for him. And it was very normal in his time for the young man like him. But he did not what his people is to do. So, as I continued, the first time Prophet Muhammad got married when he was 25 and his wife was 40 years old and she was twice widowed, they lived happily in love together and he did not get married second time. His wife died when he was 50 and she was 65 years old. Imagine if he was lustful or characterless, he could marry young beautiful girls as many as he want. But he didn't marry second time while his first wife was alive. The second time when he got married, it was after three years his beloved wife passed away. Just imagine, even today, how many of men can be seen to wait three years to marry second times after his wife passed away. He was then 53 and his second wife was another widow who was 42 years old. If he was lustful, why would he marry another widow who was a widow and 42 years old? At that time, people neglect and hate widows. Arab men were lustful and pedophile. The reason Prophet Muhammad married widows to set up their respect and place in the society. What was the Aisha's age when she got married with Prophet Muhammad? First of all, we need to know that the Holy Prophet did not marry Mother Saida Aisha out of his physical desires. One need to note that for first 54 years of his life, he had only one wife. His only wife till 50th year of his life was Saida Khadija, peace be on her. He spent his entire youth with her and she was a two-time widowed woman, 15 years elder to him. For next four years, his only wife was Saida Sauda, another widow who was 42 years old. It was a divine inspiration Prophet married Aisha because God wanted and God is all-knowing always. If you are doubt in God, if you are an atheist, we could have a discuss 
about if there is a creator existed or you created yourself you could discuss over this matter but if you are believer in god in the creator then you could compare al quran with the other religious scriptures and then question yourself ask to yourself which book make more sense to you in the al quran allah is challenging if this book is not from allah then you will surely find error contradiction mistakes and as muslims we challenge if anyone could show a single error mistake or any anything anything wrong in this book i will just leave islam and this is my challenge to everyone so i was saying it was a divine inspiration prophet married aisha because god wanted and god is all knowing all ways before explaining the reasons behind this marriage let it be known that the holy prophet married said aisha not out of his own desire rather it was a divine inspiration read the following hadith narrated from mother aisha's own words when mother aisha was saying that the prophet said to her you have been shown to me twice in my dream i saw you pictured on a piece of silk and someone said to me this is your wife when i uncovered the picture i saw that it was yours i said if this is from allah it will be done age of marriage in old ages one must first understand that 1400 years ago was very different than now times have changed and so have humans 1400 years ago it was something very common to many young girls in fact they were not considered young girls and rather they were considered young women back then it is a historic fact that girls from the ages of 9 to 14 were being married in europe asia and africa in everywhere in fact even in the united states girls at the age of 10 were also being married just more than a century ago yet with these facts No historian claims that all these people are sick perverts. Historians would call anyone who made such a claim to be arrogant and very stupid, who has no grasp or understanding of history. Even in Indo-Pak subcontinent, girls used to be married at 12, 13, even 50, 60 years ago. and those girls in fact raised much better families there were less family problems than a simple analysis of the divorce rate then and no would certainly make it clear that maturity level earlier is to be different i.e. people is to come of age rather quickly Mother Said Aisha never showed her displeasure. Another striking thing to observe is that among hundreds of her narrations there is not even a single one showing her displeasure about his marriage. Hence she had no problem with this relation. In fact It is manifest from several traditions that she loved the holy prophet too much and even felt some sort of jealousy when she found others around him. Does this not prove that she was extremely happy about this marriage? So, 
when she herself had no problem at all, then what's the matter of concern for others? These questions has put for the Islam haters. If the mother Aisha had no displeasure, if she was extremely happy with having the Prophet as her husband, what is the problem with you? I know your problems. You are making excuses to portraying a false image of Islam in front of sincere people in order to prevent them from studying Al-Quran and from accepting Islam. Anyway, I should stick with my answer. To find the true age of Aisha's age when she got married with the Prophet Muhammad, we have to know what is Hadith and what is Al-Quran. Al-Quran, the final revelation from the God Almighty to the final and head of the all prophets and messengers. And this divine book is the complete guidance for the whole mankind. And this is the verbatim words came down from the God to the prophet. Hadith the sayings and stories related during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad by himself and later what was collected and written as books are called hadiths. Hadiths were written by many authors and the early hadiths were written by those who were the eyewitness and later hadiths were written by year to year hard process. Moreover, hadiths are the collections of history and stories heard from people amongst them, some saw Prophet Muhammad and some was born after Prophet departed from the earth. Since hadiths were written by men and we do aware very well that human nature is fictitious, according to Islamic law, if any hadith goes against Al-Quran, then that hadith is false. In Islam, we have strong hadith which are collected from reliable sources in early age during the living time of the Prophet. And weak hadith which were collected later even after hundreds of years of Prophet departed from this world and from anonymous sources. In order for a hadith to be practiced, it has to be reviewed and assessed with the statements and verses from the Al-Quran and the examples of the previous prophets. The hadith in essence is a book of sayings narrating examples of the Prophet Muhammad. Because the hadith is a text written by men, it is flawed. While the Al-Quran is not for, it is the words of the Almighty God. The truth or strength of a hadith is based on the how many other reports, primary and or secondary sources can attest to its authenticity. Allah says in Al-Quran, and test the understanding of orphans male and female both, until they attain at the age of marriage. This is from chapter 4 verse 7. Did you notice? Allah is telling us to test the understanding. This is to see whether if anyone is attained at her full grown up in both physically and mentally, when no other religious scripture given this certain measure. Now in these following words of Allah made it clear that no man have the right to force any woman, girl, female into anything against their will, i.e. marriage. 
whether forcibly putting in wedlock by father or any male from the family or no man can marry a girl or woman without her happily consent or no one have right to consume any woman's wealth hear it from al quran chapter 4 verse 19 allah is saying o you who believe you are forbidden to inherit women against their will and you should not treat them with harshness that you may take away part of the mahar the dowry and you have given them unless they commit open illegal sexual intercourse and live with them honorably if you dislike them it may be that you dislike a thing and allah brings through it a great deal of good for you now can the prophet muhammad forcibly marry mother aisha or can the parents of mother aisha force her to marry no they cannot go against the allah's law especially the prophet muhammad is chosen by allah to reveal allah's divine laws and messages the one who sacrificed his whole life to establish allah's laws he cannot break the same law otherwise he would not be chosen islam is suitable for all ages and for all lands here when allah says the age of marriage but did not mention any certain age that is because the all-knowing creator knew we will have different laws in different country for the age of getting married which will be statutory according to the people's understanding and age here age is referred to age of time now let us demonstrate some early hadiths according to the alquran and let me remind you all only those hadiths are truth which are validated by alquran According to hadith in Bukhari and Muslim Aisha is said to have joined Muhammad on the raid that culminated in the battle of Badr in 624 AD and then in 625 AD in the battle of Uhud and no one below that age of 15 was allowed to accompany raiding parties Aisha should have been at least 15 since all those below 15 years of age were sent back as they were not allowed to participate at that young age then aisha must be was 15 or more than 15 in 624 ad and thus at least 13 when she was married following the hijra in 622 If you accept someone to declare the shahada Islamic declaration of oneness of the God almighty the person must be at the age of walking and talking i.e. at least 4 5 years old at least Ibn Hisham's recension of Ibn Ishaq's sirat Rasulullah the earliest surviving biography of Muhammad records Aisha as having converted to Islam before Umar ibn al-Khattab during the first few years of Islam around 610 AD at that time naturally she must have to be 4 5 or at least 3 years old enough to walk and speak which would make her at least 15 in 622 at the year of her consent with prophet muhammad the famous classical historian of islam ibn jarir tabari 
wrote in his history, in the time before Islam, Abu Bakr married two women. The first was Fatila, daughter of Abu Uja, from whom Abdullah and Asma were born. Then he married Umm Ruman, from whom Abdul Rahman and Aisha were born. These four were born before calling to Islam to people by the Prophet. That means before the revelation started. The revelation has start when Prophet was at the age of 40. Now, since Aisha was born before the revelation, we can assume that at least she would be year one or two at the year of revelation. The revelation has start in 610 AD and Aisha and Prophet got betrothed and engaged in 622 AD and they start living together after three years of their engagement when marriage took place in 625. When Prophet was 50 years old and Aisha must be at least 15 or more older. Tabari reports that Abu Bakr wished to spare Aisha from the discomforts of a journey to Ethiopia soon after 615 AD and tried to bring forward her marriage to Muslim Ibn Uday's son. But that marriage did not take place because Muslim family remained in idol worshipping and Abu Bakr family embraced Islam. If Aisha was already of marriageable age in 615 AD, I repeat 615 AD, more than seven years before got married with the Prophet. She must have been older than nine or nine in 615 and after seven years of that incident she got married with the Prophet. Now. You calculate what age she was when she got married with the Prophet. According to almost all the historians, Asma bint Abu Bakr, the elder sister of Aisha, was 10 years older than Aisha. Asma is reported to die in the 73 AH years counting in Islam since the first migration of early Muslims from Mecca to Medina to escape from the oppression from the Kafirs. When she was 100 years old, now obviously if Asma was 100 years old, now in 73 AH, she should have been 27 or 20 years old at the time of migration to Medina 1 AH. AH is referred after Hijrat. If Asma was 27 or 28 years old at the time and Aisha was 10 years younger than her, thus Aisha, if she got married in 1 AH or 2 AH, was between 17 to 19 years old at the time of her marriage. Now let us analyze this under the light of the Al-Quran. Aisha is reported to have said that at the time of revelation of the Surah Al-Kamal, the 54th chapter of the Al-Quran. I was a young girl. The 54th chapter of the Al-Quran was revealed nine years before Hijra, years counting in Islam since the first migration of early Muslims from Mecca to Medina to escape from the oppression from the Kafirs. According to this tradition, Aisha had not only been born before the revelation of the referred surah, but was actually a young girl, not even only an infant at that time. She narrated she was a young girl, not an infant. 
so if this age is assumed to be 7 to 14 years then her age at the time of marriage would be 16 to 23 so critics of our beloved prophet muhammad read the holy quran and the history of islam hadith which goes against islam are false and not to be subject to believe because many imposters lately wrote so many things which are contradicting with al quran which are contradicting with the character of our prophet and they did it deliberately in order to make a false image of islam in order to manipulate islam <clears throat> let me remind you a story an incident brought a significance here which has happened in the time of our prophet a girl came to muhammad and she reported that her father had forced her to marry without her consent the messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the prophet muhammad gave her the legitimate choice of either accepting the marriage or annulling it denying it reject it it is recorded that the girl said actually i accept this marriage but i wanted to let women know that parents have no right to force a husband on them hadith ibn maja hadith number 1873 if aisha was a child at her marriage with the prophet then how comes she would able to give her consent when prophet himself in this hadith giving the equal rights of the women on marriage the quran indicates that marriage is an equal partnership involving the man and the woman through marriage a couple established a loving and stable relationship and to foster mental and spiritual harmony between these two sexes chapter 3 verse 21 allah is saying and among his sign is this that he created maids from for you from yourselves that you may find rest peace of mind in them and he ordained between you love and mercy in these indeed are signs for people who reflect there is no competition but compatibility and complementary between the husband and wife each taking the other partner's concerns and sentiments into account and both recognizing the rights of the other if mother aisha was a child of 9 or 10 at the time of her marriage with the prophet then clearly prophet muhammad is going against these commandments of the al-quran and he would not been the final and superior of the all prophets and messengers indeed allah saying by the grace of allah you are gentle towards the people if we had been stern and ill-tempered they would have dispersed from round about you chapter 3 verse 159 Allah the exalted says it is he Allah who has sent his apostle Muhammad with guidance and the religion of truth that he Muhammad may proclaim it over all religion even though the pagans may detest it 
from Al Quran, chapter 51, verse 9. And also Allah said in chapter 68, chapter 4, and verily you, Muhammad, are one on an exalted character. Allah again said in chapter 758, Say, O Muhammad, O mankind, I am sent unto you all as the apostle of Allah to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. There is no God but He. It is He that gives both life and death. So believe in Allah and His apostle, the unlettered prophet who believed in Allah and His word. Follow him so that you may be guided. And about himself the Prophet said, Allah has sent me as an apostle so that I may demonstrate perfection of character, refinement of manners and loftiness of deportment. Malik Mawata Ahmed Musnad Miskat of Hadith at the end, let me give the main reason why Mother Aisha was chosen by Allah to be the Prophet's wife. Because Mother Aisha was the best person after the Prophet, whose memory was sharp and who could understand the Quran and had the best knowledge in it after the Prophet, of course. Read these narrations from some eyewitness about her wisdom and knowledge. Arwa bin Jubair says, I did not find anyone more proficient than Aisha in the knowledge of the Holy Quran, the commandments of halal, lawful, and haram prohi prohibited. Ilmul Ansab and Arabic poetry, that is why even senior companions of the Prophet used to consult Aisha in resolving intricate issues. Jalal ul Afam by Ibn Qayyim and Ibn Saad, Volume 2, page 26. Also see this. Abu Musa al-Ashari says, Never had we, the companions, are difficulty for the solution of which we approached Aisha and did not get some useful information from her. Sirat al Aisha on the authority of Trimidi, page 163. So, I proved that Mother Aisha was not any child but was more than 14 years old when she was got married and she gave her full consent and was happy with her husband. When Christians or Jews question about Mother Aisha's age, I wonder how come they accept when in their scriptures so many men have given child bride by the God of their scripture, especially when Jesus Christ's mother Mary was 12 years old when she was got married with a 90 years old man. Thank you very much again for having your presence and listening to this. Thank you. Peace be with you. God bless you all.